Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm creating this makeup look for you guys. This is at home date night makeup look. It's gonna be a get ready with me, so I won't be talking much in this video apart from sharing with you guys like the products that I used. I feel like it's like a great idea to have date night at home. Like I've also like had a couple of date nights at home. I've had like an indoor picnic. I've also like, you know, done like sip and paint. Those are like fun stuff that you can do at home considering the fact that like, you know, we're still pretty much on lockdown. And you know, sometimes it's good to like, you know, show up for date night without looking like a bum, <laughs> which I'm guilty of doing sometimes. But like, yeah, this is definitely a look that you guys can rock if you guys are planning on having like games night watching a movie dining in or even having like sexy time like this is definitely the look so if you guys want to see how i create this look it's super super easy then keep on watching i'll see you guys in my next video so i'm just clipping my hair back um with some hair clips just so that i don't get any makeup on them and i'm going to go in with my primer and i love using the embroilies um late cream which has been my go-to primer when it comes to like you know setting my face before um, applying any foundation this is such a good hydrating primer i love how it feels and i love the fact that i'm not using you know matte products because um, even though i have oily skin i really want my skin to also feel hydrated and not cakey Next, I'm going in with my liquid illuminator, and this is from Milani Mills. The shade that I'm in is in rose gold. Um, I'm not going to be using highlighter for this look, but this is definitely like a good way to have that like, you know, glowy skin from like, you know, within. Um, so I apply this underneath my foundation before going in with my actual foundation. So for foundation, I'm using Fenty Beauty's foundation. The shade that I'm in is in 440 and hands down this is one of my favorite foundation just because of the long wear that you get out of this. Like I have worn this foundation for like eight hours and it hasn't budged. Like you know I usually don't get that same oily feel that I would get from other foundations that I use and after eight hours I still look really really good. So hands down one of my favorite foundations if you're out looking for you know a foundation to try a concealer i'm going in with my maybelline concealer in the shade tan this is the super stay concealer um, I've been saying that I need to get another one, but right now, like, I really, really need to because this is completely empty. Um, I like this shade. It's really, really close to my skin tone, but just for that little extra highlight, I like to go in with the Too Faced Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And to blend out, like, my concealer, I love to blend it out with a beauty blender. This just helps, you know, sink into my foundation as well as going in with my makeup brush just to like you know make sure that there are no harsh edges Lately, I have been loving the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Powder. This has been like my go-to powder when it comes to like, you know, setting my highlights. When I compare it to the Sasha Buttercup, I find that the Sasha is a little bit too yellow and this has more of a lighter feel to it in terms of the color and also in terms of like you know the texture i feel like i can use this even when i don't want to like have like you know cake face or i'm not going for like a heavy makeup look uh, i've also been loving another product from black radiance which is their contour palette i find that the colors in this palette sits really really nicely on my skin 
I usually try to avoid contouring my face, but finding this particular shade just works really well. And I don't feel like, you know, scared that I'm going to have like harsh lines. So yeah, I've been loving these two products lately. To get my brows done, I love going in with my Essence Brow Pencil and this has been like my go-to brow pencil just because it is really, really affordable. It's like $2 if you go to shoppers and I love the fact that like, you know, it's just so easy to use in creating my brows. Um, there are some brow pencils that you have to spend like time in really, really applying it so that the color can pick up. This is actually um, very, very pigmented, but you have to be careful. If not, you're going to have like really, really dark brows. So I would recommend going really light handed. And to clean underneath my brows, I'm going in with the concealer that I used earlier on, which is the Maybelline concealer in the shade tan just because it's closer to my skin tone and I'm just going to use that to like you know clean underneath my brows as well as just apply a little bit on my lids so that the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using just picks up a little bit better. For eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Nude Obsession Palette. Like this is a really, really great palette if you're one that just wants to stick to nude colors. And for this look, I just want to go with like, you know, very simple look because I am home. So there isn't any point like, you know, creating like a cut crease, smoky eye or like, you know, glitter lids or anything. I just want to look like, you know, presentable and I just want the makeup to be easy. So I'm taking up a brown shade just to apply all over my lids. At first, I started applying it at the corners and like at my crease then I'm like no I'm at home so I don't need to be going in with like you know two three different um you know eye colors but I did pick up another shade from this palette just to like you know smoke out the outer corners of my eyes just to keep it really really simple So for this look, I'm going to be skipping lashes just because I'm home. I just feel like there's absolutely no need for me to be going in with false lashes. But if that's something that you like, by all means, go ahead and get that done. I'm just going to be applying some mascara on my lashes and I'm going in with the Merit Beauty Mascara. This is a brand that recently just launched. Um, before moving on to taking off the excess powder from my face and also applying blush. Now this blush, guys, is also from Black Radiance and it is absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now, but I definitely will link it for you guys so you guys can check it out. I love how this blush sits on dark skin. So if you're in need of a blush, by all means, definitely check out this Merit, um, definitely check out this Black Radiance blush. Now to just tie this whole look together, I have been loving the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Dark Deep. This is actually my go-to all over the face powder just because one, it pulls in my whole makeup look nicely. Two, it also is very lightweight, so you won't feel like you have cake face. Three, I mean, is Laura Mercier. It sits perfectly, and it just makes my makeup look really, really good. So I'm just going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes, even though I don't have any, before going in with my Sasha Fix It spray to set all over my face. There's just something about this spray in particular that I feel is 
really really good compared to other sprays that i've used but yeah it's really really great and i have a code if you guys are in canada and you're shopping from felicita artistry then you can definitely use my code at checkout um moving on to my lips i am going in with my nyx lip pencil in hot chocolate um i forgot to apply lip gloss so i picked up my skin fix um lip balm just to apply all over it because i don't want a situation whereby my lipstick will probably get dry on my lips and i have crusty lips with like matte lipstick and that wouldn't be good so yeah but for lipstick, I am going in with the Woma Beauty Lipstick in Angela. This is such a gorgeous nude shade for a lipstick. And it is a matte lipstick, so that's why I needed to, you know, get my <laughs> lips moisturized. And yeah, I'm done with this look. But I'm just going to take out some time to, like, you know, straighten out my hair. Just to make sure that we do look put together for this date. And I'm going in with my Duvaux um, hair straightener. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name properly, but yeah, I'm going in with that straightener and yeah, I'm going to be done with this look right now, but, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I do have some bloopers towards the end. See you guys in my next one.